In October 1962, the Soviet Union began deploying nuclear missiles in Cuba, which was just 90 miles from the coast of the United States. President John F. Kennedy demanded that the missiles be removed and established a naval blockade around Cuba to prevent further Soviet shipments of missiles. Soviet ships carrying missiles headed towards Cuba were intercepted by the U.S. Navy and turned back. As tensions escalated, the U.S. military went to DEFCON 2, the highest level of readiness ever achieved by the U.S. military during peacetime. Both sides prepared for a potential nuclear war, and the world held its breath as the standoff continued. The crisis was finally resolved when the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba in exchange for a U.S. guarantee not to invade Cuba and the removal of U.S. missiles from Turkey. The crisis demonstrated the importance of communication and diplomacy in preventing conflict, and it underscored the need for nations to work together to avoid catastrophic consequences.